Commander, fresh news from the war on Iocath. Republic troops capture one of our supply stations. The Empire's leading a retaliation, but we're locked in a stalemate. You always know how to cheer me up. What about our hunt for the traitor in our ranks? We've been spying on every member of the Eternal Alliance, just like you ordered. Now we're drowning in leads, but none of it's actionable. Our people feel violated, and we're no closer to catching the traitor. If you had to guess, who do you think betrayed me? Honestly, the longer we search, the more I think someone planted the traitor idea to turn you against your own people. We could be facing an outside threat. Maybe a past rival, someone who wants you dead. Lighten up, Theron. Things aren't all doom and gloom. Well, you look cheery today, Lana. Did Galt spike the calf again? Even better. I found a lead. Alliance agents picked up a signal from the Shadow World of Umbara. It's encrypted with the same algorithm the traitor used on Iocath. They're still on the planet, helping our Republic foes grab a massive stockpile of Adegan crystals. Adegan crystals are attuned to the Force. Could our traitor be working with the Jedi or Sith? It's possible, but Darth Malgus once discovered a use for them beyond lightsabers. He's gone, but the Republic may be adapting his work. Both sides have tinkered with the Deegan crystals for years, part of an arms race to build a new arsenal of superweapons. If we move quickly, we can corner the traitor and hijack those crystals. Intel says they're on an Umbaran supply train headed for the capital city. Then we leave now. The traitor won't escape us this time. on the move and the traitors on board nothing we can hear Traitors on the other side of that door. They're gone. That's impossible. According to the signal, they're still on the convoy. It's over, Commander. In a few minutes, this train will collide with that Nelm Bridge. You'll be disintegrated, and I'll escape with the Adegan Crystals. Don't worry. You won't feel a thing. We defeated Valkorion together, and now you've betrayed me. I didn't want it to come to this. Luring you into that trap on Iocath was just the beginning. Ever since you defeated Valkorion, everything I've done has been towards one goal. The total destruction of the Eternal Alliance. You helped build the Alliance. After everything we've been through, why tear it down now? What I built was an end to the Eternal Empire, not this. I followed you because I believed you'd end the cycle of war. I thought we'd finally be free once you took down Valkorion. But the Alliance outgrew you. Now it's rotting from the inside, the galaxies fighting back, and you've become a symbol of oppression. So much for your dreams of peace. Listen to yourself, Theron. These problems don't exist. They're all in your head. The ones in power never see the weight of their actions, do they? If you topple the Alliance, millions will die. If that's the cost of peace, so be it. 30 seconds to impact. This is goodbye. You better start running, Theron. I'm going to enjoy hunting you down.
Lana, Theron escaped. Warning, collision imminent. Brace for impact. We need to survive long enough to make Theron pay. Jump! We recovered most of the Adegan crystals. Once we tap into their power, Iokath is as good as ours. And Theron. Word of his betrayal is spreading quickly. My agents are running damage control, but it will be weeks before we know how much harm he inflicted. Even with the truth out in the open, I can hardly believe Theron was the traitor. He was a good ally and a better friend. I never saw this coming. He played us both. But at least now we know our target. We should brace ourselves for Theron's next move. Theron's father may be dead, but his mother's still alive. Find out what she knows. I already have feelers digging into Satil's whereabouts. I'll begin the hunt at once. Before you start, I want to send a message to Theron. Open a hollow channel and prepare to broadcast it across the galaxy. Clearing channels now. What message will you send the traitor? This is the commander of the Eternal Alliance. I have a message for my old friend, Theron Shan. We've been through a lot together, Theron. In your honor, I'm dedicating a hundred Eternal Fleet ships to the fight for peace. Return to the Alliance, and these ships will be yours to command. We can end the cycle of war, but we have to work together. Come home, Theron. I'm sorry. I can't. So, you did as we asked. We had our doubts, but now we see your dedication to the cause. We've reached a decision. Theron Shan, welcome to the Order. <laughs>